our Holy Father Pope, mocking the Holy Father Pope job. Let's see it. It is our Pope. It's so lifelike. Look at his beautiful robes and the crown. And look on his face, he says. He's better than everybody else. I'm surprised, since in your sermons, you make him sound greedy and arrogant, which he isn't, right? Right. right. What's this other painting? Oh, painting of the other popes? Boo, other popes! Sorry to pause the action, kids, but I thought Angela and Angelo would have been here by now. You hoo angel buddies. but slow. Okay, so like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
These are the paintings everyone has been talking about, and you can see why. When this artist compared the attitude of our Lord Jesus Christ to the attitude of our leaders, he preached a mighty sermon. Amen. And I too, I too feel called to challenge the corruption, the unchristlike behavior of our leaders. I'm even thinking about disobeying the Pope's order and, and, and teaching people how to read the Bible. The Bible. That reminds me. I, I that's exactly why I was looking for you. Very reason. Um, actually, guess what? I brought you back from London what? for you. A copy of Wycliffe's Bible. And some of his other books, too, actually. Jerome, if this is a Bible, we could be arrested just for having this outside the church building. Right, that's a good point. We are here. Let's hide in this alley. Yes, ah, so brother. Brother. Boo! Boo! So, so the, the Roman Catholic Church is still trying to prevent people from being able to, like, own a Bible or read a Bible? That's, that's just like it used to be, like, back when Patrick and, and when Hilda, when all those guys were, were doing their work. Yeah. Oh, right, like Patrick and Carla. Right, right, the early Christians. The, the ones who were still preserving the word, and they were they were trying to stand firm, and, and this this is all reminding me of a song. I just can't remember the way it goes. It's been eight hundred years since Columbanus met the Vaudois. The Vaudois. Right, and Columbanus, right, as a missionary, came from the Celtic Church all the way to the, to the border between France and Italy, and there he met the Vaudois up in the mountains, and they established a library to preserve God's word for the yeah. ages. That's right. Right. But the Roman church is still keeping people from reading the scriptures. And so they're confused about what Jesus taught. What do you mean? Like, like, like trying to teach them about worshiping on Sunday instead of worshiping on that beautiful Sabbath? Yep. Oh, but, but certainly not like still trying to, trying to show that you should be greedy and, and power hungry if you're a church leader instead of humble? Yep. Oh. Wait, 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 what about, are they still trying to, like, make people worship Jesus rather than, like, leaving them free so they can choose to worship? Unfortunately, yes. No. Wait a second, 800 years have gone by? But that means we missed the end of the one to our story. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We've got this, remember? We can always go back and see the history live. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's a really good that's point. That's why I like it so much. I, yeah, I can see that. Okay, so, hmm. But, did you say there were, how many popes again? Three popes? Yeah, well. How is this possible? The Supreme Leader's organization. Well, I, don't I, I don't know. You should just, you should just see for yourself. It's crazy. Okay. I, John, the 23rd, am the true pope. Elected by the Council of Pisa. Uh-uh. I, Benedict the Thirteenth, am the true Pope. Um, I was Pope before you were. You, Benny, no. No, I am John. Wait, who am I again? Oh, yeah, I'm Gregory. I'm Gregory the Twelfth. And you're the anti-pope, because I was pope long before you two fakers were. Fakers? Fakers? Yeah, who are you calling fake? Ah, uh, Benny, you're a hand puppet. No, I'm real. This is just, this is just an illustration for the primary tent. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to raise an army and wipe out both of you, Paul. And I'm going to do that by selling indulgences. Indulgences? Yeah, indulgences? Well, you mean like, like selling pieces of paper that tell people that, that their sins are forgiven? That's just, just brilliant! I'm going to raise an army too! You are? Well... Actually, I, I already have four armies. 
four armies. Where are your four armies? Well, I have my four armies between my wristies and my elbow in. Four armies, yeah. Well, I'm not going to stand for this. Eh, you just did. Yeah, to war! To war! No, no, I'm going to tell the king! Enough. Yeah, I'm going to go tell Michael! Enough! Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! Two of the three bulbs are, are puppets? Wait, 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 no, no, no. Two of the three popes are popets? Really, Angelo? Oh. I thought it was a good one. No, it really wasn't. That's the truth. Uh, see, the reason we have pope puppets is because we didn't have enough human pope costumes to go around. But, so, if popes are supposed to be the representative of Jesus, those popes weren't acting very much like Jesus. Or Jerome and John gonna do anything about that? Well, the battle over God's word is still raging, and I believe they are going to sound the battle cry. You know, the thing about that is, when people tend to stand for God, sometimes things go really wrong for them, and they get themselves in trouble, and sometimes even dangerous situations. Wait, 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 no, 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 I got it, I got it. Sound the battle cry, right, and stand firm on God's holy oh, word. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it starts, remember? The song was something like, um, yes. um, okay, hang on, hang on. Maybe I can hear a chord. <laughs> There we go. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 I didn't say that. Yes, 